Hello everyone, this is Sheila's back. This is another tutorial. <coughs> this is an adult's cardigan I'm doing. And this is a, a 2 by 4 basket stitch. So I'll blow it up so you can see the stitch better. As you can see, it's a smaller basket stitch. It's just knit 2, purl 2. Knit 2, purl 2 for 4 rows. That's why it's 2 by 4, 4 rows. And then... On the next row where you had knit your purl, so it's purl two, knit two, purl two, knit two for four rows and so on. You just keep alternating the um, the basket stitch like that. And this one here I cast on 126 stitches. And I have done a two by two rib. But I'm going to do when I do the um, the button and the buttonhole bands, I'll be doing it sideways. So anyone who would prefer to do the band single and just knit it all the way up and then stitch it on, I would advise you to do a one by one rib because if you do this rib and then do the um, the band, it won't look right doing a two by two knitting all the way up. So I advise you just to do one by one rib um, if you want to knit your band that way, otherwise do it um, the way I've done it. And I'll bring this back down again. I have knit all together, yeah, I did 18, no, sorry, I did 20 rows for the rib on 3.25 needles. And then I changed to um, the 4mm needles for the um, the body. And I am going to knit up to 15 inches. I have done, this piece I've done, it measures 13 and a half inches up to now. And I'm going to do it up to um, up to 15 inches. And I am using circular needles at the moment um i don't usually use these but i had that many things other things knitting that i was doing in the middle of and i'd used all my four millimeter needles and these were the only ones i had left so <laughs> i have to use these i don't really like using circulars but um i'm managing okay with these uh but i have finished one or two things that i was doing before so i'll be able to change to the and get up to the armholes I'm going to change to the straight needles but when I get up to the armholes I will show you more and this is this wool I'm using is from uh, Wilco Wilco not Wilco Wilco blow it up again it's um, Wilco's double knit yarn it's 100% acrylic and there are 340 metres in this 100 grams. And that's what I like about Wilco's. You get a, an awful lot more in their balls than other ones. And it's lovely and soft. It's a lovely yarn. I think it's supposed to be a baby yarn, um, actually. But it's for any anything you want to um, turn it. They don't have a lot of colours, Wilco. That's the only problem with them. They don't have a lot of colours. But what they do have... This was... At the time I bought this, it was only £1.25 a ball, but um, their wool has gone up in price, and it's £1.65 a ball now. In fact, it could be more than that now with all the price of everything going up. But anyway, that's how far I've got with this. When I get up to the armholes, I will come back and show you what I'm doing there, as this is going to be a set-in sleeve. This is actually 40... It's for a... Um, a 40 inch but it'll measure 42 inches when it's finished because you always do a little bit extra you don't do the actual body size you always do a little bit extra for all right so i will be back when i get up to the armholes and i am now up to the armholes and i've cast off six stitches at the beginning of, I knit up 15 inches up to the armholes and I cast off um, six stitches each end of the, of the next two rows. At the start of, sorry, the start of the next two rows. And then the next two rows after that, I cast off two stitches again on the next beginning of the next two rows. And then after that, for the next 10 rows, I've decreased one stitch at each end on each of those 10 rows until I have 90 stitches. And that leaves me 
working up to the um the shoulders so i'm going to work up from the where i started the armhole shapey i'm going to work eight and a half inches from there up to the um the shoulders which is usually around about with me it's usually about 60 uh, 60 rows well that's the back almost finished i just have to cast off the stitches for the shoulder now but i have knit until from the armholes till it measured eight and a half inches and i like the patterns best for telling me how many inches i've actually knitted because i just go from the armhole here to the line where i started the um Passing the stitches up and just follow that line along there in a measure from there up to eight and a half inches. It's very easy to um, to measure and it's easy to count up the rows. So I know I do about 60 rows from for to get to eight and a half inches. So all I just have to count is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen times four. Is 60 and that's how many rows it usually takes me to get to the um the shoulders that's why i like patterns they're easy to measure so now i'm going to cast off i want 36 stitches left in the center to put on a holder and i have 90 stitches here so i'm going to cast off 15 stitches at and i cast off in the same stitch that i'm doing the pattern in so i'm starting over the knit i'm doing a purl that's one I'll blow that up so you can see better two three and some wool out wrapped around the handle of my drawer here and then Five, six, seven, eight, and I'll be back when I get that far. So that's those 15 stitches cast off there. So now I'm going to knit to the, the end of the row. And I will be back when I get that far. So that was, um, I had 90 stitches on the needle. And I've cast off 15 stitches in the same pattern that I've been knitting in. So that's knit two, purl two. And then I'm going to cast off another 15 on the next row. And then after that row, I'm only going to cast off 12 on the next next one. That will leave me with 36 stitches for to put on a holder. So I'm going to cast off another 15 on this side. That was two knit. That's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That is fifteen stitches I've cast off there. So I'm going to knit across the row to the other side and then I'm going to cast off 12 on this side and 12 on that side. 
and now I'll be back when I've done that. I'm on to the second round of the cast offs and I'm going to cast off 12 stitches here but when I do this so you don't get such a big step going from here to the next one is I just slip the first stitch pull it as tight as you can knit the next stitch and cast that stitch off and then carry on as normal on the that's two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven that's twelve that's my twelve stitches cast off there and if you look you can see the the step between one cast off and on the the row coming back again it would be a lot higher if I hadn't slipped that stitch, but slipping that stitch makes it a little bit, a little bit better. And that's what I'll do when I get to the other side as well. And then I cast off 15 stitches at the start of the next two rows. And then 12 stitches at the, the start of another further two rows. And that left me with. 36 stitches which I've placed on a holder and I've started on the um, the left side and I've cast on 62 stitches and I've done two by two rib for 20 rows and then changed to four millimeter needles and then started the pattern Pearl two, knit two, pearl two, knit two, then knit two, pearl two, just the same as, as the um the back. And then I worked that until it measured the same as the um the back. Well, I've already got one side done. And I just kept on going till So I had eight and a half inches. Oh, sorry, eight and a half inches. So it measured 15 inches. I think I've done 15 inches for that. I better check. Yes, 15 inches, which was 96 rows for me. And then when I got to the armholes, the same as the, um, the back, I cast off six stitches. Came across the start of the, the next the alternate, the next alternate row after that, cast off two stitches and then decrease one stitch ten times until I had 54 stitches. No, 10, 40, till there was 44 stitches and then I knit up to five and a half inches up to here. That was 40 rows. Up to there and then I cast off eight stitches here for the neck and then decreased on the next one stitch at the neck edge on the next nine rows and that left 27 stitches and then I carried on till it measured the same as the back till it was eight and a half inches then I cast off 15 stitches and then came back across and then cast off 12 stitches and that's that, that side finished. And like I'm saying, I have the um, the start of the um, the next side. And I'm onto the sleeve on the basket stitch cardigan, and I have cast on fifty four stitches for the rib, knit the two by two rib for twenty rows, 
and then I've increased on the I think it was a check I increased on the third row one stitch at each end of the third row and then on every eighth row after that and I am increasing until I get to 80 stitches and then I will be carrying on up to probably about 17 inches up to the um the armhole but this is a finished sleeve I had cast on 54 stitches and done the two pearl two rib for 20 rows and then started the the basket stitch which is knit two pearl two knit two pearl two for four rows and then pearl two knit two pearl two knit two for four rows just reversing the um the stitches every fourth row and i was increasing on the the third row and then on every following eight row until i had 80 stitches And then I knit to 17 inches, which was up to here, which was, I think it was 112, 112 rows for, for my, for my tension. And then I put stitch holders, a stitch markers, put stitch markers where I start the shaping for the, because I don't cast off stitches for the sleeves. I just put the stitch markers in and then I decreased. On every alternate row, um, I have to check my book for this. I just increased on 13. On the next 13 alternate rows until there was 54 stitches. And then each end of the next 16 rows on every row for 16 rows until there was 22 stitches. Then I cast those stitches off. So that's the first sleeve done. Right, I am now on to the neck on the cardigan and I have picked up 96 stitches altogether. I picked up 30, 30 down the right side, 36 across the back neck and another 30 down the left side and I'm knitting in the two pearl two rib but I've started off with I wanted to, to start and finish with the same thing, the same stitch. So I started with a, um, a purl stitch, just one purl stitch, and then knit two, purl two, to the last stitch was a purl stitch. So when I pick the stitches up down the, um, the side, that purl stitch will disappear and it'll be shown next to the, um, the band will be next to the two knit stitches. And I'm going to knit eight rows like that in the two pearl two rib and then I will be back so I've knitted six rows I think six is enough for for this plus the one knit row so that's actually seven rows to the neck band I'm going to cast the stitches off now I'm going to cast off in the same rib that I've been knitting in that's all out Cast off loosely, not tight. Don't pull the stitch tight when you're casting the stitches off. And you just test your little bit you've cast off and there should just be a little bit giving it but not a lot.
and there's again a little bit give and that's just keep on to the end of the row until you've cast all the stitches off so that's the neck band just the sewing up to do and then the button bands and the size it's come out perfect to measure 42 inches, just what I wanted. I like this pattern, it nearly always comes out right. So I am now sewing the cardigan up and I've already sewn one shoulder. Yeah, I've done a back stitch. Makes a nice, nice neat seam, not too tight. <clears throat> and I'm doing the same on the other shoulder. And the back stitch is just, you go behind the stitch where you come out with the stitches here and you go behind. And come out a little way in front. You can see there's the needle there. And there's the, you come out a little way in front. And each time you pull it through, just give a little tug on the seam to make sure it doesn't gather. A tug. Another little tug there. And just carry on to the end of the, the shoulder seam. Remember, just needle in through in front of the, the last stitch and a little tug. And that's how you do the, the back stitch. So that's the sleeve finished, the um the seam finished for the, the shoulders, and I'm going to do the the sleeve. And now you have to make sure because this pattern is the same on both sides, you have to make sure you're picking the you're pinning it the right way. So I fold this top bit in half like that, find the very centre, which is there. I fold that in half, find the very centre which is there and then I'm going to pin it to the seam here and then where you have the stitch marker here you go to the cast off edge on the back and just pin it Pin it there and you might have to stretch the sleeve slightly to fit into the um, thing just pin it all the way around I usually pull it pull it the whole thing together like that work my way to the center with my fingers Put the pin into the centre there. Just stretching the pieces together. And 
the top bit too there. The stretch very easy because we'll do stretch. That's that side of the sleeve done. I'll do the other side now. Put a pin in the top bit there. Take that down to the cast on edge there, the cast off edge. And then you will need a length of yarn. And I take a length of yarn and I measure it from, from the stitch marker all the way around. <coughs> It's caught around the pin there. Uh, uh, I've got this twisted here. Just double that. And just cut it off. So I've got quite a long length, at least double double around the um the sleeve. Might save me Having to add a little bit halfway through. I'll take the stitch marker out and we join the yarn. Take that pin out. I've put a knot in the yarn to start it off. But I put the needle, the needle through and wrap the, the wool around to start it off. Do that twice. You may find a bit difficulty with the long yarn, but I can manage okay. And we're going to back stitch the same as I did with the um the shoulders. And remember, just backstitch and give a little bit tug, have you? Yeah. After you've pulled this, the, the yarn through. And that's how you backstitch the sleeves onto the garment. And you backstitch all the way around the seam, all the way around, and then do the other sleeve exactly the same. And you should have a well-fitted sleeve. Well, that's the sleeve sewn on. And now I'm starting to sew the seams up the sleeves and the, um, the sides. And I've started the the sleeve here. There we are. And I'm sewing it flat, the sleeve, and the, the bottom part will be done this way as well. So you just hold the two pieces together. And sew like that. And you can see the, the seam there. You just hold the pieces together and take one stitch from each side. And
until you get down to the where the basket stitch starts. That's a bit awkward with these long, long lengths of yarn. I get. And now I'm down to the, take the pin out. And we're going to do a, a back stitch for the, the seams, the seams we did for the, um, the setting the sleeves in. Well, it's a bit awkward. That's the back stitch just going in behind the stitch and and coming out a little way in front of it. And that's how we're doing the all four seams, the two sleeves and the two side seams. Markers all placed in place, ready to knit. Ready to pick up the stitches and knit the bands. So I picked up 140 stitches all together for, um, for the band. This one here I'm doing, the buttonhole band. I think it's a buttonhole. No, it's not. It's a band, the other band. I put those markers in there in the wrong place for the other band. Yeah, there's 140 stitches, there's 12, when I have the, uh, the stitch markers here, there's 12 stitches between each stitch marker plus 3 extra at the top, that's 15, and 5 extra at the bottom where the, um, the ribs are, so that's 17, so that's 140 stitches all together. I'm working. Good job, I checked that. I was going to put the buttonholes there, then they go on the other side. But when I do, I'm going to take these stitch markers out because I put them on the wrong band. But when I do the, um, the other band, I'll put the stitch markers in where I'm going to do the, um, the buttonholes. And I'll put them on the, the two where the two stitches are together and I will be knitting one I'll be purling those ones there and then putting the wool forward knitting those two stitches together on each each one